Well, about one in 10 babies born in the UK will require the services of a unit like the Dyson Centre for Neonatal Care. We really get to know these families well and they get to know us well and it becomes a second home to them. The NUCA Centre is really important because, you know, it's babies who are premature or have problems and it's a really worrying time for parents. It's, it's a very quiet environment, a very calming environment. It's also a wonderful place to work. The nurses all love it. So it was a, it was a revolutionary design and uh, I believe it's been much publicised around the world and people are wanting to copy it because it's been so successful. And it shows how architecture, doing the right sort of interior and external architecture makes being in hospital not only a more pleasurable experience but actually a more successful clinically experience. We were able to demonstrate that the families were spending not just more time on, on the unit and in the care environment but actually you know contributing to the care of their babies, really involved, so having their babies out cuddling them for much longer periods of time. We were really fortunate that the Dyson Foundation were supportive of us. I think there's something about when you work together with people who show some faith in you as a team, you feel a commitment to continually stretch yourselves to be the best that you can. If you think about the people that we're treating for cancer, they come to the hospital for multiple episodes of care. They will come for their outpatient appointment, they will come for their treatments. To be able to be part of creating a building that celebrates natural light, celebrates tranquility, celebrates restoration and is really patient-centred, for me is really exciting. And Dyson, as an entity, have an amazing history about being able to really think quite differently about how we might do things. What you're looking at here is the site for the new Dyson Cancer Centre. You know, in your, that awful moment when you're having the treatment or you're ill with cancer, you need to be in a nice environment, it's so important. And what we want is a lovely building where you can get views of the greenery up there and a lovely garden that's going to be in here. So once you get into this area, you'll be in a, a garden and I hope a beautiful building with lovely colours inside so that it's as cheerful as possible.